I love that intervention, uh, you know, not just top down, but bottom up and connecting to a horse, another body, literally connecting to another body and getting that connection. I don't know if you, uh, psychologist, Dr. Tom Miller has the metaphor, which goes all the way back to the elephant and the rider and yep. the horse and the rider. And, and it's your unconscious mind, like the horse in that moment becomes your non-conscious, subconscious, unconscious mind. And you're creating that connection with yourself, plus the endorphins, the oxytocin, and all that stuff that's getting released as well. So very, very cool stuff. So for most people, they don't necessarily need to have – so yes, benefit for doing that. There's a benefit, and it externalizes the the mind-body connection. Um, but if you have that trauma in your past, then probably even more so, even more so prescribed. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, so I, I mean as a whole, what mindfulness does – for all of us, regardless of where we're at, it is it, it enhances our windows of tolerance, right? So it, it allows us greater capacity to take in maybe alternative perspectives, different ideas, and, and not be triggered by them, that we're able to sit with them, be present in the moment, and, and be aware of our own feelings as we're experiencing that information. So so mindfulness practices as a whole, I think, have huge benefits for everybody, regardless of whether it's trauma or not. It just happens to be that tra- people have experienced trauma. Uh, they need it more severely than the rest of us. But we can all significantly benefit from it. 